Now, if you need to read the instructions, you can click here. So after you downloaded it, put it on your flash drive, click on here. And then this will take you into how to do the software update. But if you're in that boot loop mode, you're not gonna see any of this because your screen's doing that dang boot loop. So mine, where I was Friday, I was on this 15.26. The dealer that I paid to update the software, oh, still frustrated, updated it to 17.43. So I essentially paid the dealer $130 to update to an old update because 18.45 is what you just put on your USB flash drive. That's the very newest software as of right now is that 18.45. And so they only updated it to 17.43 and when I tried to go from 17.43 to 18.45, that's when my boot loop happened. Okay, but anyways, Here's all the info, how to do it. So here's the exact steps right here. Install the Uconnect software update. If you're starting from the beginning, this is where you'll want to start. If you're starting from the boot, oh, here's the boot loop right here. So this is one of the screens that will show on your boot loop. So this is the screen that it showed when it froze. So I was on unit 11. This top bar was at 1%, the bottom bar was at 67%, and that's where mine froze. And then this is part of your boot loop. You'll see this screen, and then you'll see a white screen. So essentially this screen without any of that information, it just says, please insert a USB stick. But, and then once your truck, car, SUV does accept it, you'll get this at the very end. And when these both match up, when it says that your software is at 18.45 and it's at 18.45, when both those numbers match up, hit no. You do not want to download it again. You just want to be done and get the hell out of the boot loop. Oh, there you go. There's the other screen for the boot loop right there. So please insert uh, update USB. So that's one of them. And that's the other one. So those are the two screens you see when you're in the boot loop. It flashes from this black screen, wait two to five minutes, to this white screen right here. Please insert update USB. So, but that's what you want to do. Now let's run down to the truck and go over what I did to make it work, other than what you just seen. So now we have our USB flash drive. We formatted our USB flash drive. We went on to Uconnect's website. We have downloaded the newest update as of right now, which is 18.45. And we have dragged and dropped it and it's on the USB flash drive. So let's go down to our vehicle and see if we can get this to work. Okay, so now understand my infotainment center is gonna look different because it's not on the boot loop anymore. I'm filming this video after I have already fixed mine. But first and foremost, for you guys that are trying to find that fuse to reset your infotainment center, Sorry, my truck's a little bit dirty. So the passenger side battery, behind the passenger side battery, so passenger side battery under here. Like I said, I tried disconnecting my negative cables and leaving them off for a while and it did nothing for the boot loop. But see that right there, that fuse against the firewall right behind the battery. So you pop that open See the little 20 amp fuse in there? That is the fuse for your infotainment center. So if you want to, uh, if you're stuck in the boot loop, 
sorry, I'll close that in a second. If you're stuck in that boot loop and you don't want it constantly going until your USB flash drive arrives or say overnight or something, pull the fuse, it'll shut down your infotainment center. That way it's not just constantly trying to get itself out of that boot loop and has your screen on all night long and for hours at a time. So that's where the fuse is on this 2014 Ram 2500. I believe I read um, in the earlier trucks, the pre-2012, like 2003 to 2012 and a half or something, that it is fuse 38, I believe. You know, don't I, I don't have that truck, so don't take my word, do your research. But And then as far as your cars, SUVs, and things like that, just research where your fuse is. Pull that fuse until you can get it out of the boot loop, and then you won't have to have the frustration of looking at it all the time. We are now inside the truck, so let's go ahead and fire her up, and I'll show you guys. what uh how to check your system and stuff if you're doing this from new but if not let's go over real fast for you guys who are watching how to get your boot loop out so essentially you take your usb flash drive that you have your update on that has been formatted And then what you're gonna do is take it and you're gonna insert it into the USB port. Now mine is here inside my center console and it is right there. Don't plug it in to this one. This one's just a charging port. Plug it into the one that is next to your SD port, your auxiliary port. And so I'm not gonna do it obviously because my system's already updated i don't want to mess with it again i do not want the frustration messing it out but what you would do is you would take it you would insert it in there and then wait a couple minutes and it will pop up and it'll start going through your update again and once it starts going through your update again just pray to the gods that it doesn't get stuck again so, and as you can see, so this is where you find out what version you're running on. So you go to controls, you go to settings, and this is how I figured out that the dealer updated mine to an old update, was for one, I wasn't getting that 3G. You want that 3G next to your apps. That means that it's connected and running. But you go to controls, settings, all the way to the bottom you'll start at the top you go all the way to the bottom hit system information and then boom that's your software version so friday i was on 15.26 i paid the dealership they took me to 17.43 and then when i tried running my usb stick in between 17.43 and 18.45 is when i encountered the boot loop and that's when things went to hell in a handbasket if you will so so it took me friday night saturday about midday saturday after being back and forth from the dealership on and off the phone with you connect i finally was able to get it to accept i was actually driving when it accept my girls wanted to go get taco bell and so um we i plugged it in and let it the, let the process start and then literally when we were in the drive-through at Taco Bell, we were sitting there watching it and it finally broke and went past that unit 11. And so I am updated now, as you can see. So, and then my navigation actually works. It actually has me at home and it has a little pickup truck. I'm happy now but I still have to contact the dealer because I uh, want my $130 back for something that they didn't do. Anyways, guys, please like, share, subscribe, hit the little bell button, and stay tuned for any future videos. I will be doing a turbo actuator on this truck. See that check engine light?
nice fancy little orange check engine light over there oh yeah that's beautiful turbo actuator so I appreciate it guys I sure hope that this helps you guys please leave any comments down below I try to get to them as regularly as possible and as fast as possible uh, if, if you need anything I understand your frustration I was beyond frustrated with that boot loop so I sure just hope it helps you as much as it helped me so I couldn't find any videos and so that's why I made this one with that being said, I'll see you on the next video.